Hi everyone, this is Rachel from Next Level Options Mastery. And if you sign up for our Next Level Options class, you would be thinking, you know, what do I do first? So uh, the first thing you need to do is actually to set up your brokerage account. So this is where your the page that you're probably currently at. And uh, if you're from Malaysia, right, uh, you would have to, uh, you'll probably have some issues you know signing up for a TD Ameritrade account so let's take you guys through how to sign up for a TD Ameritrade account all right let's go what we do is we will come to the think or swim uh a TD Ameritrade website and then we will press open an account uh, but somehow there's some Malaysian uh, telco some Malaysia wi-fi that do not allow this website so what you need to do is if you can't access this you have to go to this uh, uh companies called Surfshark which is a VPN. And uh, let me show you the pricing of the VPN just to give you guys a gauge. Uh, why we use Surfshark is because it's one of the most uh, stable and the most uh, reliable uh, website. So uh, you can use it for as low as uh, $3 a month, which is actually very, very worth it. So uh, you can go ahead and choose the pricing. I will, I will put the link uh, below as well so that you can go straight to make the payment. Okay, so once you have signed up for uh, this Surfshark VPN, what you need to do is actually to download the Surfshark extension. Okay, so uh, once you have downloaded the Surfshark extension, right, which is uh, over here. Uh, Yep, so we would have to download the uh, Surfshark extension over here. So once you have downloaded it, right, you can choose to download it on your uh, website or you can choose to download it on your Chrome extension. So you just click on download, which I've already done so, and it will actually appear on your uh, extensions over here. But what you can do is to click on pin so that you can pin the Surfshark extension and then it will appear over here. Okay, so uh, for us, let me uh, just log into our uh, website. All right, so we were logged in over here. Oops. Okay. Let me check again. All right, sorry about that. So uh, once you've logged into the VPN, you can choose that you want to appear as a Singapore location. So over here, then they will be connected. Okay, so once you're in a Singapore, you will be seen as a Singapore location, right? Then you can go into uh, this website again for TV Ameritrade, and then you can go and open an account. Okay, so that is using a VPN to sign up. Uh, alternatively, if you don't want to pay, this one is a bit uh, of a longer steps that I can take you through. So you can change your DNS settings uh, over here. So you can go to your control panel uh, over here. You can go to your Wi-Fi settings, which is network internet for maybe MacBook, it will be Wi-Fi. And then uh, over here, you can change your uh, adapter settings. Go to the Wi-Fi portion. And then click on internet protocol uh, version for something like that. And change your uh, DNS server address. And key in uh, the number 8888 slash 8844. Okay. And then press OK. And then press that you're close and done. All right. So uh, over here, you can do a check whether your DNS is already being changed, which is your network internet. And you can click on properties. And then it will show that your uh, DNS server is being changed. So it's 8888-8844. Eight, 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 
Okay, so that's how you change it your with your DNS settings. Yeah, alternatively, you can go and Google as well how to change your DNS because some laptops might be a little bit different as well. So you can go to uh, Google for help. And then sometimes it's just Wi-Fi, uh, settings, advanced network, you tap on DNS, and then you change to a country that you want to be shown in. Uh, usually if you change to Singapore, it should be okay. Yep. So hope this helps. I will link all the details in the uh, video below so that you can have all the resources you, you need to uh, uh, use the team, Think or Swim account using either Surfshark or using changing your DNS. So hope this helps.